Okay, uh, this video is to explain to civil engineers working in the construction industry as uh, civil inspectors, especially engineers, not civil inspectors that are non-engineers, uh, on uh, how to obtain the uh, concrete construction special inspector and the concrete transportation construction inspector from the ACI. This book here is the manual for concrete construction special inspector. Now in order for you to become a concrete construction special inspector, you only need uh, to take one course which is called field testing concrete technician grade one which is the basic ACI course which is required by everybody uh, after that you can sit for this exam directly and become concrete construction special inspector now if the ACI find out that you don't have enough experience to become a concrete construction special inspector they will add a word associate in front of it so you will become an associate concrete construction special inspector until one year later when you submit more uh, uh, experience documents they will upgrade you again to concrete construction special inspector i believe that this manual is a must for any engineer on the side because this is a general manual it has a lot of information about a lot of things that have to do with uh, construction for example uh, because we are teaching design and uh, concrete and uh, civil engineering in the universities we concentrate on the concepts of engineering now this book here concentrates on on what the inspector is allowed to accept what is he uh, he should reject uh, what uh, when should he say that there is something wrong we are not talking about he will say the design is wrong but he will find out from this manual that for example the size of the column which was supposed to be uh, for example 400 by 400 millimeter he found it to be uh, 380 millimeter by 420 millimeter so as an inspector should he accept that column or he rejects that column he find the strength is different than the specified strength does he accept it does he reject it he find that the hole for the <coughs> piping is bigger than it's supposed to be or smaller than it's supposed to be so there's lots of decisions that the <coughs> technicians and the labor will come to the engineer and ask him is this okay what should we do come and check this and they expect the engineer to answer now the engineer he can go and look at this book so how do you study for example this book you simply take this book you get you get a copy of this this is called cp21 and uh, the exam is an open book and you look at this book <coughs> as if it is a dictionary which means you can easily know from the sequence here where everything is located if you have a problem with the vibration you go to the vibration section you have a problem with <coughs> uh, with form work you go to the form work section you have a problem with cold weather you go to the cold weather or with weather issue so this one <coughs> uh, the exam of this course is uh, is uh, two parts one part is about one and a half hours or one hour we call it a drawing reading where you will be asked to answer questions on actual drawings just to see if you understand how to read a drawing that is in front of you and then a three hour uh, question uh, uh, exam which is open book using uh, this book now if you are covering concrete construction special inspector this is for I said everybody if you are if you have to do other things like piling you have to do some more soil investigations you have to do bridges you have to do distressing you have to do something like this then you need some other subjects that are not here 
and those subjects are available in the other course which is called <coughs> they put the word transportation in it. Now at the beginning I assumed that transportation meant uh, highway and pavement and things like this. It is not that. Transportation because this one has much more than this one on regard to bridges, piling and a little bit more on foundation and so on. So transportation here also means concrete as the basic element of the transportation. Now most of the civil engineers that have came to me who I taught this one did not find a lot of difficulty to go in this one. And there is, I have to say, there is some items here that are also here. But the difference is that in this one it has items that are not this book so I think if you are a civil engineer and you would like to upgrade your knowledge and have a good reference for you concrete construction special inspector is a very good choice for you a uh, couple years back when I started advising engineers to go through this exam many were failing but with time and experience both from my side and how to explain it to them or how to tell them how to pass by uh, studying the correct uh, parts the passing rate has been much higher with now you need about 70 to pass this both in the practice in the drawing reading and in the written and i am getting people a lot of people who are getting 80s about 80 85 uh, in this course. Now I don't have yet too many engineers who are taking the concrete transportation construction inspector because they, you still have to get this one before you can go to this one and as you know uh, not too many people are working with bridges and pile caps and pre-stressing but those two are the best courses uh, the best certifications that can be obtained by a civil engineer who is who wants to improve his knowledge and if he is also inspecting. Now there is one final point that I should explain is that everybody talk to me who is taking those two, he said ACI design, what about ACI 318 which is the design codes. Now ACI certification courses, most of them do not go deep into design because design is an art and you cannot ex examine people on art. So what they are doing is they are examining you or testing you on looking at something and knowing it's correct or wrong. So they are making you more clever in catching mistakes. They are not directly teaching you how to design a beam or a column or a slab. That is left to uh, the uh, other SEI design codes which does not have specific certifications. Thank you very much for listening to Dr. Mar Bader. If you have any questions or anything, you can send me an email at uh, maherbader uh, at gmail.com and I will be pleased to answer you. Thank you.